It is the next day, whatever day you have seen before, and we are in Wyoming, and we are headed out a little dirt road that runs along the highway. I'll give you the locations of all these, and these were on a person's website, and he had all these different rocks all marked up and stuff. Um, rock hounding spots. And so we're going to try one of those. We're going to look for what they call an agate here that has lots of seashells in it and they're supposed to be regular agates and nephrite actual beautiful like canadian looking nephrite all kinds of things in this little gravel bed that other rock hounds have actually explored and picked up there and added to this person's website so um pretty compact and dry road We've made it to the next creek bed. We parked and I got out and I looked down and that is a piece of silicated petrified wood right under the car tire. So the location pays off already. Pretty cool. So now we know we're looking That might just be opal in regular chalk rock, I'm not sure, but it's definitely a blue common opal stuck in there. Um, looks kind of like the end of a log. I have to look at the other rocks here though, and see what they show. All sorts of fossils and things. So, and we are uh, in a stream that runs through the Green River Formation that has some of the best fish fossils in North America preserved in it. So, agates, petrified wood. Um, it's really good that it rained last night. So look for petrified, opalized wood, look for agates of all different colors, including the ones that will look like a see-through brown chert that have a bunch of spiral seashells that are miniature that did not dissolve and stayed stuck in it. So yeah, that's what they said was here on the thing. But in the gravel woods. So. But probably all around too. Is that a dinosaur egg? Don't know. Or the creek bed 
right here looks pretty sandy, but there is a little strip of almost gravels along the edge here. So I'm gonna walk a little ways. And look in these spots where there are gravel showing. Supposed to be nephrite in the state too, but not expecting to just find it, but I am keeping my eyes out for it. There's a shiny red burgundy something. Some pea gravels here. This uh show laden agate is uh kind of rough in its start but it polishes up really beautiful because of the shells in it it's crawling along going real slow and looking because i haven't seen it ever from my own eyes so until we have we need to kind of look at everything and then after we've seen it we can just hunt that hoping that there is a drop of it here nice uh, quartzites, beautiful pink and orange quartzites mixed all in here. I'm checking all the green rocks. Ooh, that's a chunk of uh, it's a green river for sure, the formation. I guess I should have brought my little pry bar. That looks pretty beautiful though. Looks like a dark agate creature of some sort. Ooh. That is really pretty. That is dark. I, it's not much light today. We were told by the locals that the snow is about to fly. They saw our license plates and maybe a wishful thinking, but they said, are you going back to California? <laughs> and we said, yeah. And they said, yeah, well, the, you got good timing because the snow's about to uh, about to come and change everything around here. So. You're looking at the last days that you could probably hunt. That looks like the brown shirt that they're talking about. It might have the shells in it. I don't see them. I'm just calling it a shirt. I'm meaning a, uh, I'm assuming it's the ocean floor and half of it is dissolved silicate, salacious ooze, and the other half is shells that did not quite dissolve. And it has left these pieces. Hopefully I can find you some specimens instead of just talking about it. So I will proceed to turn this off and turn it back on next time my eyes spy something that I think you should see. That is definitely agate of some sort. Needs to be cleaned up and that needs to be seen in the visual shells. But you can see it's got the white crust and the shape. And when you slice it, it could have crazy banding. You know how they are. That's I don't see any shells agate. in it, but that's definitely a dish agate. A real sparse, but the, the thing was like up here a little ways okay, in the creek. Did you just check that green river to see if it's got anything on it? Oh, you're standing on it. 
fish, leaf, anything. It could have anything in there. You know. But that's the stuff, so you never know when, like, it's being glommed together by a skeleton. <laughs> Is that a bone? Yeah, exactly. Is that a bone? Probably not. Maybe, though. Maybe old coral. That could be old coral. So it would be in here? Yeah, yeah, or on either side, just when you see the pieces kick them over and, you know. But, yeah. Maybe there's big gravel beds up here. You see a line in the sand? Oh, here it is. This is where I found that agate and then I came back to you. Is this line that pretty much was crawling around the ground until here. And then I looked up and saw these edges and that there's more terrain than I thought. Yeah. Antelope prints. Lord, you think you're back on the beach in Foley? Not sure, that looks like petrified wood, maybe. Maybe. It's got some grain and some structure to it. That looks like some stuff that might have stuff in it. seeing seashells. You are an old seashell. I do believe a piece of a fossilized seashell. there that looks like another fossilized piece of shell and this and you kind of a weird shape I'm not sure kind of Lee gang like but not quite. Fish. No fish. The mines around here where you can get fish are closed down for the season. So you'll have to check them after May of next year. But look. That's a fossilized low. Oyster shell of some sort, for sure. Green rocks in the Green River. There's something cool there. Let's uh, let's go look at that. Actually, we'll wind over to it. Are you agate? You are agate.
Yes siree. That's the brown stuff. If we can find this with the shells in it, then we've accomplished the goal of the site. But this is darn close. We're finding agates in Wyoming. Little ones, I know there's huge ones. Like that the Wyoming Stone Ranger finds all the time. There's a little gravel bed. Well, I will look on the outside crescent and you look through the middle bed. And then I'll trade you. There's a lot here, there should be something. I just found another clear piece of agate down there, so. Ooh, here's another clear piece of agate. They're really dark. But yeah, that is a see-through. Nice. Well, I'll tell you what, that spot that we stopped with uh, Richard on the way down where I grabbed all of this stuff that was full of white thing, no idea where it is. But that may have been a killer spot. <laughs> <laughs> they are around. This might be it. Oh, so it's even rougher. Okay. This might be it. Let me go show that to you. Draw a line here. No oh, crap. Yeah, it may be way rough and then we need to smooth it way down. My eyes can't see if there's a little shells in there. <laughs> this looks like a bunch of little fossils stuck in a rock. I think those are little shells. Um, yeah. The fun of digging where you don't know. A little stressful because you definitely want to find stuff, but fun when you find it. Oh, like that, like that. Okay. Okay. So that is fun. That affirms that there could be great things here. That is a totally agatized little spiral shell. Okay, here's another one. That's a little spiral. So, we're kind of out where the pinpoint said that there was some things. I'm trying to film and catch up with her, but I'm crawling on my knees here, so. Wow, okay. Let me show you how small we're looking for, but how good it is. Mm. There's two of them there, you see them? Yeah. That's how freaking small of a thing we can be looking for. In this. <gasps> Look, Mom. Oh. You can have that one and that one because I walked right over in front of you, but I wanted you to see what you're looking for. You see them? Yeah. So that's, I think that this is the pinpoint. I think we just go really slow. That's a fossilized shell from the Green River Formation. Nice. Agatized. So evidently we're walking on them like most treasures, you know? We just needed to see them. Dang, that's hard though. Those are small. That's what I've been able to find so far. And they are small, but awesome. And every time that I the ground super slow, I find more. So these are what we're looking for stuck in that agate. But they're 
some shells here. Oh, so they shells from Wyoming. Just gathered at five in the snow location over here. The dog is attacking my mom. I might have to put her down. Are you finding more? Yeah, I didn't for another five feet, and then I found one spot that had like four in it. It might have fallen. Ooh. I'm finding little pieces of this clay stone that dissolved, and there seems to be a little scatter field. found all those but they are beautiful little fossils and I'm so happy to find them Are you getting them? A lot. You're over here silently filling your bag and I was gonna, I was like, I thought you only had the one. No, I have all of these. Oh, good work. Here's something. Yeah, where they're coming out of. So it's not coming out of the agate here, it's coming out of that mudstone, mm -hmm. this stuff. They come in. And it must be shedding right around here, you know? Ooh, I'm gonna walk over here and look at the bank and see if it's coming out of the bank, you know? This might be this, the section of the... Actually, I guess the water's coming this way. You see from all the flow patterns, we're actually downstream of, of whatever. So we would have walked by the source if these were weathering out, they would be upstream from where you are. Tell me this doesn't look suspicious, right? Look at this. We just did an old dump. Let's look at the diggings here. And that's not what I brought you over for. Brought you over for this. Whatever's going on with this? Looks like it's been eroding out for a while. Pieces of metal. Pieces of glass. Older glass and older metal. The windows. Coca-Cola bottles. It's pretty far out here. Maybe some sort of dump at some point but look at what's out here buried in what was this was solid dirt here and they're not retaining a bank as you know sometimes you put old cars somewhere to retain a bank but the road's way over there this isn't a road these are just high chunks of dirt and wow man put way under here I mean, they, I don't even know how they brought this car out here, but they put this car here and they piled all that cement on there. You seeing that? I wonder if there's anything in there. Bullet holes, those are probably more modern. But you just think about that. Look at the size of the weight of stuff they dropped on there back in the day. Let me climb up here. Let me show you where you are. I found plenty of old cars stuck in riverbanks to hold up the erosion, but you are not on a road. You're way off the road in the flats and the bads. And out here in the spot, 
they dropped a car in and then dumped all this cement on top of it and then all these bushes grew over it for however much time that took so you would have just seen this sticking up for all these years you would have had to move through all that cement to even find that car except for it looks like the river jumped over here and meandered and ate this out and so in its carvings it has exposed this car this one car out here in the middle of this desert zone way out in Wyoming where they have dropped a car for some reason at the edge of the dirt and then piled all that cement on there this just looks nefarious this looks sinister Wyoming on Highway 80. Highway 80 runs between Chicago and California. Wyoming is about the farthest place out where you can get. Highway 80 runs between Chicago and California. Highway 80 is right over there. This road comes off of it about six miles and you can drive down a dirt road about another mile. And then you'd have to get out here somehow, carrying that much cement in that car and put it here. It's just the bushes that have grown over that. Look at the cement inside. If this car could talk, it might have a story for you. For sure. Power struggles. I'm willing to say that car was not wanted to be found. Reminds me of Las Vegas.